Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for Wednesday, February 6th. Yes, is that, is that? Yes, Wednesday, February 6th, 2019. So this is not specific to anything. This is just whatever spirit wants to discuss, whatever energies come forward, that's what we're going to talk about, yeah? And energies are fluid, so just because it's dated for the 6th of February does not necessarily mean it has to or is going to happen on this day. This, uh, this Take this as it resonates. If you're not watching this until later on, like days later, and it still resonates with you, then it still resonates with you, okay? That's a good thing. And if it doesn't re resonate with you, that's fine. It probably just is not a message for you, yeah? Okay, so let's just go ahead and get straight into it, shall we? Here we go, guys. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Wednesday, February 6th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. Okay, so there, first of all, um, I hope everybody's having a good week so far. Um, we have officially made it to hump day. Woohoo! For those of you on the other side of the world, you're moving into Thursday. That's cool too. I hope you had a fantastic Wednesday. Um, but I do want to mention that there was a wave that hit last night, and I mean, like, it was intense. I had plans to, you know, hang out with a friend last night and I ended up canceling just because I just did not want to leave the house. I, I don't know why I just felt, I just felt weird that something didn't feel right. And so then, you know, I was like hanging out at home. I was just, I just was laying in bed because I just did not want to do anything. And then all of a sudden this wave hit, these two waves hit actually, it was the first wave hit and it kicked up a bunch of stuff. Um, twin flamey stuff and, and and I I felt the energy first and then I, I like I felt the energy and the emotion of everything that it kicked up and then I heard the ringing associated with it like a few minutes afterwards um, and it was very low in frequency and then and I text Betsy about it because it just it was so crazy and then I, I was hearing from Spirit that another one was coming. And sure enough, a few, like, a maybe, maybe 10 minutes later, a second one hit. And that one was what much higher in frequency. And it was like a two-part wave. The first wave kicked up a bunch of stuff that was kind of underneath the surface. You could see it as it was like the, the plow that came through and uprooted some of the earth. And then the second wave that came through was much higher in frequency. And that was like the salve that was put over the salve or the, 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 the ointment or whatever. Like, I guess you could say the neosporin that was put over the space that had been kicked up by the first wave in order to heal. It was the craziest thing ever. Like it was really tumultuous and really painful emotionally as it was happening. But then once it fa once it like faded after like the second wave and I started to realize what was happening, everything felt so much better. And there was um, there was a I, the, the second wave extended a while because like the first wave was really low in frequency and I could hear it and that faded after a while. But the second wave, I realized it came in and then it lingered like. Actually, to be quite honest, I'm still kind of hearing the ringing right now, but um, this was all, I want to say, I want to say like around six o'clock last night. And by the time I went to bed, which was like around 9 30, 10 o'clock ish, I could still hear the ringing from the second wave. Okay, so please let me know if you, in, down in the comments, 
if you guys experienced any of that. I know Betsy felt it because I text her. I text her about it and she was like, yeah, I felt it too. Um, so let me know if you experienced that. But I did want to share that with you guys because, and it didn't have to be just a twin flame wave. It could have been anybody picked up on it and it just kicked up some stuff that needed healing. It wasn't even necessarily for just twin flames. It was just a wave of uprooting and healing that happened. Yeah. So if you experienced it, share it below. Okay. One more shuffle. There we go. Oops. All right, guys. So now let's get into it. For Wednesday, February 6th. Let's see what we've got for this hump day. Hump day. Six of Wands with something else so far. Something else underneath that Six of Wands, but that's a good thing. Six of Wands is victory. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Underneath the deck. Ooh. Look at that, the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups has been coming out a whole lot, you guys. And it's really interesting because before I started the reading, um, you know, as I was praying and all that, um, and channeling the energies, I saw green, I was seeing green, and Spirit was speaking of a heart chakra awakening. And that's what the Knight of Cups has been talking about a lot lately. It's our heart chakras opening up, we are learning to love ourselves more we're learning to care for ourselves more um to to lead from the heart to lead from a place of somewhat vulnerability um with like basically like I, i've been i've been just describing the knight of cups as living with your heart on your sleeve um and this is leading with your heart okay i did a live reading on instagram yesterday last night well yesterday afternoon it was like around four o'clock um and Oh, shoot. Oh, and I was talking about how we went through the cosmic mind awakening and now we're going through the cosmic heart awakening. And that is what this Knight of Cups is symbolizing. This um, this heart chakra healing, heart chakra cleansing, heart chakra opening. So for those of you that did experience that wave last night, um, and I'm not saying that if you didn't experience it last night, you're not going to. That's not the case at all. You just may experience it at a different time. You may have experienced it in a different way. You may, it may have hit you, but it was more subtle for you. It didn't necessarily kick up a bunch of stuff. But that wave last night had everything to do with, has everything to do with this heart chakra awakening, this heart chakra opening, okay? Um, and clearing out space for you to love more, to love yourself more, to love people around you more. You have the Six of Wands with the Seven of Pentacles. Wow. Oh my goodness. So <clears throat> already that's saying, that's speaking to that wave from last night. Okay. Um, the Seven of Pentacles being reaping what you've sown, learning lessons, learning through contrast, um, knowing what it is you want and how to go about it in a better way than you may have in the past. There it is right there. That's what this wave was that hit last night. Okay. It was, um, yes, it kicked up a bunch of stuff. Not going to lie. It was pretty rough, but ultimately there was a, there was a lesson that was learned in it. Some for a lot of you that did experience this wave. Um, and this, I know th this happened to me personally. And so I can only imagine that others of you did that, but, or, or others of you experienced this, but from what I can tell from what these are, these cards are saying, you had an, an opportunity and it was ba pretty successful in, um, showing you some ways that you needed to heal. Um, maybe showing you some errors of your ways. Sure. Um, but coming to terms with that, but it's not in a way to say, look, you did this wrong and blah, blah, blah. It's not about that. The Seven of Pentacles is about, yes, it's about reaping what you've sown, but it's also about learning um, lessons from past experiences to be applied in the future so that you have a better harvest, so that you can plant better seeds and whatnot and, so, uh, um, and reap better rewards, okay? We have the King of Wands with the seven of swords and the fool we also have the four of cups the eight of pentacles and the queen of wands gee look at that and then bonus card we have the page of wands the page of wands is actually going to go up here
Okay, so we have another dynamic of um, masculine versus feminine here, okay? The Page of Wands absolutely does fit with the Six of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles. Um, new creative direction, new creative understanding, learning about yourself. Often the Page of Wands speaks towards... Um, self-discovery for me and that's definitely what this means here now this hap this is happening wowie wow wow on both levels for both the masculine and the feminine <laughs> now you can see this as the balance between the masculine and feminine within you um, you can see this and you could either resonate more with the masculine side of the situation or you can resonate more with the feminine side of this situation. And it's so funny because the last time these two came out together, the king and the queen of wands, the king was here and the queen was here. I don't know if you guys remember that reading. It was definitely one of the morning coffee readings. I just don't remember what day it was or what the title was. But that's really interesting. Okay, so f so starting with the King of Wands, the Seven of Swords, and the Fool. So the first thing this says to me is that some in the masculine camp or some that resonate more with masculine energy, y'all are starting a new cycle. You're jumping, you're taking a leap of faith, but you're not, wow. First of all, you're not really saying anything about it. But it's not even like you're trying to be sneaky. It's this very much. It's very much this new moon in Aquarius energy. Okay, so you're. This is either your divine masculine, or you are someone that resonates more with the divine masculine energies. And please keep in mind, divine masculine and divine feminine energies are not just reserved for twin flames. Everybody has them. Okay, so. When I say divine masculine, divine feminine, I'm really just speaking to the, the energies of masculinity and femininity. Okay, we have, we all have them in, uh, in us, within us. And, um, you know, we all resonate in different ways with those two energies, okay? So, those who resonate more with the masculine energy or maybe from the masculine point of view within you, there is a leap of faith that's starting. There is a new... Uh, a new leap of faith that's being taken. There is a new direction that's going being uh, embarked upon. A new cycle is starting. And this is either you not really saying anything about it, not trying to make a big deal about it, or this is catalyzed. Well, actually, it could be both. And or this is catalyzed by detachment. Because we just had this new moon in Aquarius two nights ago. And um, yesterday I was feeling that energy, like the detachment was insane, you guys. And I did a live reading on Instagram about it. If you haven't checked that out, go ahead and check it out Div at divine underscore conversations. It was actually a very, very good reading. Wow. So, okay, this, I, you can split this up between masculine and feminine, like two different people, but I really am seeing this, for the most part, I'm seeing this as the balance between masculine and feminine within. And it's interesting that the masculine energy is here, facing out with the rest of the story behind him, and the feminine energy is behind the rest of the story, looking at all of the energy, like facing all of the energy. It's like a masculine and feminine sandwich. It's kind of cool. <laughs> but... um from the masculine point of view this is the energy that makes perfect sense why it would be there because this is the for the face the f the four facing energy the front facing energy the the leading energy it's on the, the leading edge it's taking the action it's making the moves whereas the feminine is on the is is behind not necessarily but the feminine is um on the mm, how do i say this is behind the scenes, is behind the scenes, influencing the energies, um, attracting the and the the doing the manifesting work to attract to bring in the opportunities for the masculine side to take action on. Okay, so they are working in tandem here. You have detachment, aloofness with the Seven of Swords, because, well, for two reasons: one, because you're starting on a new journey, and number two, you're just ready for something new. You're just over it, for the most part. But this is not a situation in which you are imbalanced. Um, you are 
you know, your emotions are all over, are all over your place. You're acting irrationally. No. Four of Cups. Now, the Four of Cups often means missed opportunities, unrequited love, this, that, and the third, boredom, whatever. This deck is very different. To me, this is emotional balance here with the Four of Cups because this woman is meditating. She has the Four of Cups evenly placed around her and she's balancing her emotions. The emotions are balanced, actually. And that's absolutely what's adding to this detachment or aloofness with the Seven of Swords, okay? The Seven of Swords doesn't always have to be bad. Yes, it does talk about deception, um, uh, of secrecy, you know, doing things, um, secretly, not making a big deal out of it, but it's also detachment. Okay. And yeah, it can be seen as somewhat of secrecy here, just because you're not really talking about it. You're not making a big deal out of it. You're not, you know, it's not a big thing. Now, you have the Eight of Pentacles with the Queen of Wands. Well, I mean, the Queen of Wands is just, is part of this balance between masculine and feminine energy here. So we're gonna talk about the Eight of Pentacles specifically. The Eight of Pentacles is about um, putting in the effort, the craftsmanship, the, the doing the hard work to create something. Um, but with this Four of Cups here, I really do feel like there is a lot of balance happening. You're really not trying, I really don't feel like anyone's really trying to overexert themselves here. They're doing, you're doing the work that you need to do and you have no problem with, with that. But when it comes to doing all kinds of extra bullshit, you're like, no, I, no, actually, absolutely not. <laughs> there is no need for that. There's definitely an energy of some sort of temperance here. Um, even though we don't have the official temperance card, I would be interested to see if that does come out in, in the clarifiers, but there's temperance here in balancing. It's like you're not really trying to overexert yourself. You're not really trying to be a lazy, you know, like a lazy bum either. It's just there's a lot of, there's a lot of balance here. I really feel like um, many of you are aware that, you know, this you're you're going moving in a new direction you know with this the full energy here um you learn quite a bit you are you've become quite successful with the six of wands and it's not even like you're you're like rolling in dough or like you're 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 making a shit ton of money or anything like that you have become successful in the form of really starting to master your reality and understand how the universe truly works in the sense of that whole paradigm of having to work and hustle just to get by, that just doesn't, it's, no. You don't need to do that. <laughs> it's just not necessary. That's just a form of mind control, to be honest. Okay. So actually, this is all quite beautiful. The, the Knight of Cups here is really talking about this balance of everything, this balance of masculine and feminine, knowing what you want and not being afraid to go after it, not being afraid to take action with the King of Wands energy, but also not being afraid to sit back and let things come to you, just let things flow, not being afraid to care for yourself, to, to rest, to meditate, to contemplate, all that stuff. That's what the Knight of Cups is talking about here because that is true balance within the heart chakra, okay? It's not the overexertion of an overactive sacral chakra. No, it is all. It is your root, your sacral, your so. I'm sorry, your root, your solar plex, your sacral. I'm sorry, I'm not the not an overactive sacral chakra, an overactive solar plexus chakra. That it is the balance of the root, the sacral, the solar plexus up into the heart. That 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 then allows you to access the higher centers which would be the throat the third eye and the crown which represent more of the feminine energies whereas the bottom the the lower chakras represent more of the masculine energies in the physical sense even though the sacral chakra is i consider the sacral chakra to be really the seat of the feminine in the physical body um but all of those combined are really helping you not only open your heart chakra, but live from a, an open hearted place instead of just the drive and the ego of the masculine. This is balanced now with the masculine and the feminine. And it's, if it's not completely balanced within you, this is happening. This is coming into play. 
and I really defeat I really do feel like the universe is saying that um, this is not something that you're really going to be able to circumvent this is happening and it might it might be happen it might be forced for a lot of people I don't want to use this deck today it might be forced or it might seem forced for some of you that really have been struggling against this really have been fighting it it might seem forced um, but it's not really because it was supposed to happen it was kind of destined to happen anyway so I mean, you, you, what, I'm, what I'm saying, I mean to say is that it's not forced in the sense that you signed up for this. <laughs> this is why you came here at this time. So it's part of the plan. The unicorn. Okay, so I'm going to get some clarification now. And I'm going to use the unicorn deck. Just because I feel like it. it. Sounds like fun today. And we're going to clarify these three rows. We're going to start with the six of wands, seven of pentacles, and page of wands. So victory is at hand here. Okay. Um, it's like you, it's like the lessons really have finally been learned. And I don't want to say finally in the sense that, oh my God, it took you long enough. It's like, no, it's actually now you, you, you're starting to get it now. It's all starting, the pieces are st of the puzzle are starting to fit together. It's all starting to make sense. And with that, it comes a, um, a new discovery of self with this page of wands energy okay a new creative direction new passion new drive new wanting to move in, in a different direction but this is not in the same way that you have in the past this is in a much calmer way with this four of cups here okay so let's get some clarification here please spirit two of swords okay Ooh. okay Cool. Underneath the deck, you have the Six of Pentacles. So what this card is saying to me here is you're finally giving back to yourself now with the Six of Pentacles, all right? Um, you have... <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, so the first card that came out for this clarification is the Two of Swords. And this immediately reminded me of yesterday's reading in the sense that um, it's really not a time... Did that, did the two of swords come out? Yes, this really is not a time to make any sort of decision right now. You may not be able to make a clear decision as to what it is you actually truly want to pursue. Um, you just know that you wanna go in a different direction. And with the six of pentacles here, it's you're giving yourself the leeway to move in this new direction. Um, for most, for the biggest thing I'm picking up with the Two of Swords is that um, it's just you can't, you, you just can't make a decision right now. This is not, I'm not feeling so much of the refusal. I am feeling the you, you, you can't make a decision because you probably you can't see it too clearly just yet. Um, maybe your eyes are still kind of, uh, in, uh, well, well, for example, your eyes may be still adjusting to this new vibration, this new reality. Like when you've been in the dark for a long time and you step into a lit area and, you know, the light is kind of blinding because your eyes have to adjust. I, that's what I feel like is happening here. But you're giving yourself the leeway in order to ha to handle this. You have the Knight of Cups again. That's beautiful. The Ten of Wands the Nine of Swords, the Queen of Cups, and Death. Okay, so this is why this Nine of Swords energy is here. Between the Ten of Wands and Death, there's some anxiety. There's a little bit of anxiety. But this doesn't feel like it's really bothering you that much. It's what I feel like the anxiety is residual, is left over, and um, it's subsiding as you go through this transformation. It, and it had everything to do with um, releasing some burdens here, the Ten of Wands. But that's what this whole transformation is about. What was this again? Oh, the Seven of Pentacles, right. The Seven of Pentacles with the Six of Wands. That's the victory that you're having right now. 
okay? You're releasing yourself from these burdens at the moment, and it's beautiful. And then you, you go from the, you have progress here. You go from the knight to the queen of cups. For some of you, there is a queen of cups that you might be wanting to um, communicate with. You might be wanting to send some love to. You're just not sure of how to do it right now. Um, in terms of that, keep loving yourself with the Six of Pentacles. Get, keep giving yourself care and compassion because that's helping, okay? But you're, you're really evolving. You're growing from this Knight of Cups to the Queen of Cups, which is the feminine aspect, which is the empathy, the compassion, the motherly type energy, the nurturing, the healing aspects. There's serious progress here. And that's also why... It is not a time to make a decision right now because even though you're emerging from this heart chakra activation, this heart chakra awakening that the Knight of Cups is symbolizing, you're still growing and evolving. So that could be why you're feeling a bit tired, you're feeling a bit lethargic, you're not really interested in doing that much right now. Um, you're detaching from situations. It's because you have emerged. It's like, it's, it's weird. It's like a butterfly that has emerged from the cocoon but isn't done growing yet. Like it still has a whole other phase or, or it has like a whole other phase to evolve into. You can even think about it, think about it as a Pokemon. You know, you're, you, you started as, what? You started as Bulbasaur and now you've grown into Ivysaur, but not Ivysaur, um, Yes, Ivysaur, but now, um, now you found a leaf stone. Well, no, actually, actually, no. Bulbasaur does, or Ivysaur doesn't need a. Does Ivysaur need a leaf leaf stone to evolve into Venusaur? Whatever, it doesn't matter. You get it. You get it. <laughs> oh man, I'm being silly, but you guys get it. You're in the process of evolving here, okay? From the page to the queen and it doesn't it's not about the masculine or feminine it's not about a man or a woman it's just about evolving into this higher more mature state of consciousness okay emotionally so now let's get into the king of wands seven of swords and the fool this is the energy of wanting to move forward even needing to move forward but just being detached from the situation from everything being detached from everything enough in order to really take a serious leap of faith in a direction that is actually much better for you than you could have taken had your ego really been involved here, okay? So let's get some clarification on this. Look at that. There's the Seven of Swords again. Page of Wands. Okay. Underneath the deck is the sun. That's really beautiful, you guys, all right? So we have the Page of Wands again. Um, we also have the Seven of Swords again. Hold on, I wanna see what, yeah, look at the, oh, wow. Oh, wow, you guys, whoa. Okay, so we have the Seven of Swords, and I love this because this is, a, this is legit. This reading, the Seven of Swords is not a bad thing at all. This is actually, this is actually a, your friend here. I know how weird that is, but look at this. Look at what you have here. You have the world, <laughs> the world with judgment. Oh my God. And the three of pentacles, the page of wands, which is the self-discovery and the self-mastery and a mystery card here. Boop, the knight of pentacles. That's beautiful. So yeah, look, you don't have to rush anything. Okay, you don't have to rush anything. This is beautiful energy, guys. Take it slow, take it step by step. Like I said, this is not the time to make a decision. If you haven't seen the reading that I did yesterday on Instagram Live, go ahead and check it out because that really describes why right now is not the time to make any sort of major decisions, okay? There is still an evolution that's happening. Um, you know, Self-mastery is the name of the game here and self-discovery. So for many of you, you're still in this process of seeing some deeper parts of yourself, understanding, get it coming to terms with some deeper parts of yourself. You're still doing a bit of that self-discovery, okay? 
um, that that is absolutely leading to your greater self mastery. And it's absolutely a step in this process of evolution, of coming into this new reality here with the fool, okay? Slow and steady wins the race, guys. There absolutely is no reason to rush any of this. But see, with the Seven of Swords, the, the, the world and judgment, it, this is saying that you've heard, I mean, I mean, look, you're progressing. You're progressing from hearing the call, the rebirth, the resurrection, the redemption to the completion of cycles, the world. Literally, you went from 20 to 21. That's beautiful. But this is why you're feeling so aloof. This is why we're feeling so detached. Because it's like, oh, wow. None of this really does matter in the way that we thought it did, does it? Huh. Well, that's relieving. The lesson of the Seven of Pentacles. Wow, now I get it. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. That's awesome, you guys. And the sun is shining bright. So just move on. Just keep on trucking. Keep on going, y'all. You're doing a great job. This is fantastic. Okay, so let's get into the Four of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Queen of, Queen of Wands. Now, what this is saying, before I go any further, let me recap here. Four of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. The Four of Cups here is talking about emotional balance, okay? And it, you're still willing to work. You're still willing to do a lot of hard work and good work in, in terms of where you're trying to get to. But with this emotional balance, you're not trying to overexert yourself. Okay? You're not trying to, you're not, it, that whole mentality of putting in all kinds of extra credit and all that stuff, it just doesn't fly most of the time any longer. It's just like it's not even necessary because, and, and only in this, mainly in the sense that you just drain yourself. That time that you could be, that you're using in, you know, putting in all kinds of extra credit work or extra hours and whatnot, that's time you could be using to care for yourself. That's time you could be using to bring yourself back into this emotional balance, right? It's very much, the spirit is reminding me of the lesson or the, the message that I use, that I say a lot when it comes to being there for people that you care for or people that depend on you. You can't be there for them if you're not there for yourself first. And that's what this energy is. That is what the, the feminine brings into balance here for us, okay? So let's get some clarification. Thank you so much, Spirit. This is such a great reading. I'm like, I'm, I'm really loving this right now. The tower, holy shit. <laughs> ooh, 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 no. That was it. That was too much. I wasn't going to take all of that. Ooh. Okay. But we have the Ace of Pentacles underneath the deck. And the Ace of Pentacles is in, rever is in reverse here. Okay. What I'm going to do, he said, because I didn't take all of that. And I kind of feel like I should have taken at least some of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the top three cards. The Emperor, <laughs> the Chariot, and the Hierophant. Holy shit. Ace of Pentacles is in reverse here. So again, this is another energy of um, not the right time to make any sort of decisions here. Okay, because we are, in fact, going through a bit of a tower moment. And this tower moment absolutely came in the form of that wave last night. Um, but this was all, it's, the tower is, crea is, is creative in its destruction. So whatever this, this wave, and I, I really do feel like some of you, if you didn't experience it last night, you're probably going to experience it either today or within the next few days or something like that. It doesn't matter. Um, but this wave that hit, it kicked up a bunch of shit. Totally kicked up a bunch of shit. But that was all an effort to heal, okay? Wow. I feel like there are two more. Good golly. The Eight of Swords and the Two of Wands. Okay, that's all I'm going to take. 
you have good gracious look at all of this we're going to start here we have the, the emperor the chariot and the hierophant here so to me this is um this is you being in control of your domain knowing what it is you want to do and moving forward with it between the emperor and the chariot but then also integrating integration with your higher self here with the hierophant Okay, embodying more of your higher self in the physical realms. You have the magician, but you also have that with the eight of swords and the two of wands. But I am going to take one more card here. The five of cups. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So. The two of wands. This is the decision that's been needing to be made or the decision that you're feeling that you need to make, okay? The Eight of Swords, both the Two of Wands and the Eight of Swords came out yesterday in the, in the, in the reading that I did yesterday, okay, um, on Instagram Live. And you're in the process of breaking free from this Eight of Swords energy, this mental prison. And that mental prison has everything to do with the heartbreak that you've experienced in the past with the five of cups the loss that you've experienced in the past okay the three cups that have spilled over this and for many of us yeah this could talk about the twin flame situation for others it doesn't have to talk about the twin flame situation it could be family it could be friends it could be someone that you were with for a while that the situation just came to an end blah 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 whatever whatever loss you've been dealing with that has been really facilitating your spiritual growth that is what's kept you trapped, okay? But the reason why you're unable to make a decision right now, the reason why this is not the time to make a decision right now is the fact that you're still moving through this energy, okay? You're still healing from this energy. There are still some pieces of this energy that are keeping you in this, in this cage. And that wave, if you experienced it last night or any sort of purging you may experience moving forward, um, is helping you deal with this pain, deal with this, this um, loss, um, helping you grieve and all that, and helping you get out of this mental prison because it's been, you've been feeling like you're trapped. And the Ace of Pentacles is here, but it's reversed because it's just not time yet. It's just not ready yet. There's still a little bit of blockage that's standing in the way, but it's not even like you have to really do all that much to get out of it because we're in the process of doing this already. Ooh, all right, that feels great. Okay, so now I'm going to get, I'm gonna get some Oracle guidance here. I wanna start with the unicorns and then we're gonna end with the crystal mandala deck this morning or today. Okay, last shuffle. All right, here we go. Best message, please, Spirit, for today, Wednesday, February 6th, 2019. Best message, please, Spirit. There we go. Yes. All right, underneath the deck, you have possibility. Raise your standards. Elevate your expectations. You have unlimited potential. Excellent. And... Your final message here from the unicorns, you have growth. Seek out a mentor or guide. Take baby steps as you grow. Be willing to learn from others. But this is exactly what's happening right now. There is growth happening. And this is what the Knight of Pentacles is saying. Take those baby steps. Slow and steady wins the race. There is absolutely no reason to rush any of this. Just go with the flow. You really don't have to work as hard as you think. Okay? But hey do you but stay in that balance between masculine and feminine stay in that balance between action and receptivity okay or i'm sorry action and attraction there we go right all right closing message here from the crystal mandala deck
closing message for the collective. Best message, please, Spirit, for Wednesday, February 6th, 2019. Best message. There we go. So it shall be. All right. All right. Card number 35. So, oh, wrong book. <laughs> Um, card number 35, this is Ascended Master Babaji and Diamond. So it shall be. We bring you the blessing of so it shall be. There are times when you will go through life, your life journey without any sign of what's going to happen. You may be working hard to heal an issue or build your dream and not really know if you, were ever, if you were ever going to be successful. You may hope for the best, but not know whether you should really expect the worst. You may sense that the universe is asking you to trust in how things are going to turn out, and yet giving up uh, your uncertainty is difficult. That usually means total and uncompromising commitment is difficult too. Where there is uncertainty, there is often hesitation and procrastination. Spirit doesn't want you to miss out on your dreams because you lack faith and therefore are holding yourself back from, quote, going for it with all you have within. So you are being given the blessing of divine decree, of absolute confirmation of success, and the divine granting of a wish fulfilled. Switch your thinking from possibility to inevitability. It is not a question of if, but when. Know that you are going to succeed and commit yourself completely. Don't hold back. Go for it with gusto. According to divine will, you shall manifest the highest expression of your divine destiny this lifetime. So it shall be. Beautimus, just absolutely beautimus. <laughs> so there it is, you guys. I hope that was helpful for you. Um, I'm wishing you guys a great Wednesday. For those of you that are moving into Thursday, I hope you have a fantastic evening and you have a fantastic day tomorrow. And I look forward to connecting with you guys again very, very soon. Yeah. Oh, keep in mind, I am running a sale right now. Mirror readings are 20% off. The mirror readings are what I use for the Twin Flame weekly readings. If you're not uh, familiar with that, go ahead and check that out. Um, the Twin Flame weekly readings. But anyway, 20% off for everybody. If you're interested in a mirror reading, go ahead and email me and we can chat about it. Yeah. Much love to you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I look forward to connecting with you again very, very soon. Yeah. Take care. Bye.